so I can type extra things in here and it's just not going to go beyond that point and it scales dynamically. Watch that number, it's changing. How do you do that? The but it's quite simple. So I've got max width, 190. That's what I want the width to be. And then I'm grabbing the width of the current layer. So source rect at time is just an expression that allows you to access the dimensions of your current layer. So what is the size of my current layer? W is the width and then S is where the magic happens. This is an if statement. So it says if the current width of my text is more than the limit that I've set, the max width, then divide the max width by the current width. Let's have numbers here, right? Say it was like 190 was the max and then the text was longer so it went to like 210 or something. The mass calculation gets a ratio of that so it says 190 divided by 210. That will give you something that's less than one, like 0.9. 0.92 or something like that. That's why you times it by 100 to get it back up to like 92%. So now you can see where I'm going with this because manually you would go down to say 86. But this math just works that out. It just says if it's gone over the max limit, then divide it and then the percentage conversion. Otherwise, leave it. Leave it as it is at 100. Then the output, it's X and Y. I don't want to touch the Y. So I've left the Y at 100 and S is the X, what the X scale is going to be. So yeah, that's all it is. Very useful. I've used it because I'm like auto populating names and I don't want to be worrying about this is too long. It's gone over. It's clashing. So yeah, 